So, how are y'all doing? Before we start Baron Breakfast, I was just going to sit here for a minute and kind of give you a little life update and do something that I haven't done before because I went on. Hello, Stormy. Hello. You want to say hi? Say hi? No? Turn around here. They can't hear you. Stormy? Yeah? I don't know if the mic's picking you up or not. Stormy? No, I don't think so. I think you're not quite loud enough, which is saying something because she's super loud. Anywho, I went on a little shopping trip today. Can you get down? I know. Can you get down? I know. You're silly. Come on. Thank you. Okay. So, going to do something here, do a little life update while I'm doing it. Anywho, got... Did something I don't normally do while I was out shopping today, and I bought... Pokemon cards! Yeah! So, we're gonna do like a little unwrapping video type thing while I'm sitting here chatting with you guys. Uh, let's see, okay. Where do we start? We'll just, we're starting with the top pack of the cards, and where do I start with my life? Okay, so, haven't been streaming as much or working on videos recently. There's a reason for that. Um, I really want to. This always goes back to, God, I want to do these things, but I just don't have the time and energy when I've got 50,000 other things going on. But I'm trying, okay? So the reason that I was doing pretty good for a little while, and then I kind of stopped for a bit, and I'm trying to pick it back up again now. Um, well, first of all, there was all the absolutely ridiculous garbage that happened at the beginning of the year, um, which you guys may not know a whole lot about. Um, and frankly, you don't need to know all the details. It would just bore you anyway. But um, I got a new job. I've been at this job for a few months now. And doo -doo -doo. I really like it. It's not that I dislike the job. It's not where I want to be for the next 30 years of my life, but that's not a problem. It's good for now. And the thing about that is, when I first started, I was only part-time. They could only offer me part-time. So only recently have I switched over to full-time. And, um, ooh, I like this one. Hold on. You see this Rapidash? I love Rapidash. That's one of the cool ones. I have a thing. I love fire Pokemon and electric Pokemon. That's my thing. Speaking of electric. Whoop. Bolton. I need a Yamper. Of course I need a Yamper. That's my... Well, okay, I'd be lying if I said it was my favorite. Um, my favorite is actually Luxray. You would think that it's Yamper, right? Anyway, so now... Got the new job, was getting used to it, had a little bit extra time, um, because I was only working part-time, so I was streaming in. Well, now I have been added to full-time, which is good. I mean, that's that's good for me. I need that. I needed that. I've been asking them to do that as soon as they possibly could anyway. Um, oh, hey, hold on, look, it's the same one, but it's, it's a, it's a sparkly. It's the same one, but now it's sparkly. Look at that. I like it. Um, and this guy. Yeah, for alligators, one of my favorites are the old ones. So I started doing full-time again, and that kind of cut into the time that I was using to get back into streaming. So I've hopefully mostly adjusted to that. You guys can hear the crinkling on this paper really bad, can't you? Also, I can't get the camera to focus on me when I'm back here. Come on, camera. It does this. It does this even when I'm not doing something full screen. Anyway, I've been doing the full-time schedule for a couple of weeks now, but what I've asked them to do is change my shift around because the summer season of our local theater group is already done. Um, if I wait just a couple more months, we'll get into the winter season. Sorry, hold on. I'm trying to separate out the stupid QR codes and energy cards. Nobody wants those. Anyway, um, so 
Oh, yes. Okay, hold on. I know, this is stupid, but look, this... I, I'm not gonna lie, the first time I saw it when I was playing Scarlet and Violet, this little thing, I'm sitting here like, what the actual hell? I love... Hold on. Stormy. Quit interrupting, please. I know, but I need you to get down. You're really in the way. Yes, please. Thank you. Also need my keyboard out of the way. Um... No, I love Tinkaton. It's like one of my new favorites. I also love that it's a fairy steel. That was a com like a combination that I really wanted that we didn't have. Um, so anyway, winter theater season going to start up around here in a couple of months. And y'all know me and my sudden, like, very, whoop, very late blooming interest in performing. Um, but I want to be involved. I'm going to try out for, like, whatever they have going on. I'm going to audition for anything that they'll give me. Because I want to be involved. Any small part is still being involved. Hey, a minior. That's a red one. Ooh, do they make cards of, like, all the different colors? Should I, like, collect these? Should I try to get all the different minior? That would be cool. Also, okay. No, unpopular opinion, but I hate this thing. I'm sorry. I, I hate it. It's just dumb. Look at it. Anyway. <laughs> okay, maybe this is just a thing with these packs, but look, how wild is this? Look what else. We got a duplicate. Hold on. But it's... Now it's a sparkly one, just like the Rapidash. Weird. Oh, well. Um. So I asked my boss to switch my schedule around at first i was working at night like mostly at night i'd go in about halfway through the day or sometime in the afternoon i'd be there really late at night um which i don't mind it's okay it doesn't give me a lot of time for streaming but it also definitely doesn't give me any time to do theater stuff because obviously rehearsals and performances are not going to be at, like, you know, 7 in the morning on a Tuesday. So I am now getting used to working during the day. So now I have, like, a normal 9 to 5 type shift most of the time. Not every single day, but most of the time. And that means I can go to work. I'll be there for like eight, nine hours maybe, but I'll get off at a time that I can just pop over to the theater for a rehearsal and all of that. And then on the weekends we have our shows, of course. But that also means like on nights where I'm not doing theater, if I if I'm not in one of the productions or we don't have a rehearsal or whatever's going on, um if I'm not doing that, then hopefully we could maybe get back into streaming on a more regular schedule. I could have, you know, a couple of designated days where I do my streams. Maybe we could go back to doing our game night on the weekend, if that's feasible. If there's ever a time that I'm going to still be doing that closing shift, though, it's probably the weekend. But, you know, whatever. We'll find a way to make it work. But yeah, that's that's what's going on with me. Not a whole lot important. Just wanted to kind of let y'all know why streaming and videos have not gone the way I originally planned. And also what I hope is going to happen in the near future. Now, I'm going to go ahead and open the rest of these, but I don't have any more like Pressing news. I guess I can just ramble about what else I've been doing. Not that it's that interesting. If you're wondering why I've been growing my hair out all this time, even though I hate having long hair, it's because my sister's getting married next month. At the end of the month. And I want to be able to do something with it. I don't know what yet, but I want to be able to do something with my hair. And if it's cut super short, then I don't have a whole lot of options. But I can guarantee you like two days after that wedding, I am cutting off 99% of the 
of this. I'm I'm done with it. I'm so sick of it. I hate it like this. You have no idea. Oh god, it kills me. Anyway. It's not even that it looks bad. I mean, well, some days it does, but some days it looks perfectly fine. Some days it actually looks good if I put some effort into it, which is rare, but you know. Oh, dude. Giraffe rig. Okay, um, what's the other one? It's so dumb. The name is dumb. Farigaraf? Farig yeah, Farigaraf instead of Giraffe Rig. It's, it's the same thing. They just swapped it around. I'm so glad it got an evolution, though. Like, I thought that was awesome. Was it necessary? Was it a needed addition to the original Pokemon? Like, no, but... <laughs> I was really hoping, uh, people were putting out, like, suggestions for Pokemon that they wanted to, uh, they wanted to see new evolutions in the new games back when Scarlet and Violet were coming out. And, uh, one of them was Smeargle. Somebody said Smeargle. I thought that would be kind of neat, actually. Look, watch this, though. Hold on. What? It's the same one again. That's so wild. I guess I'll keep the nice ones and maybe I can pawn the regular ones off at our little... Oh, look, this one's like a full art. Okay. Almost. Is a Lickitung. I love Lickitung. Although I hated him in the movie and Detective Pikachu. Oh my god, that's the... Oh, it was so bad. It was so gross. With the, with the tongue. Ugh, ugh, no. Okay, but hey, hold on. Here we go. Here's something. Looky there. Here I done. I do love Miraidon. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. I do. It's really cool. I hated it at first because I was like, it looks like a jetpack. It's just a sentient jetpack. It's a stupid idea. Um, but then we saw, you know, the bike version. I'm like, okay, that makes sense. Now it all makes sense. Now it's all coming together. That's fine. And then we got Coridon, who, on the surface, because he's got that prehistoric thing going on, just like everything in Scarlet. I have Scarlet. I didn't. I never got Violet. I'm not going to. It doesn't matter. I have both of them anyway. I, like, I have both Pokemon anyway, so it doesn't matter. But, Coridon's just cooler. Like, his base design is just cooler. I love him. He's so cool. And if you've ever seen the shiny, although I don't think you can get it legally, but if you've ever seen at least a picture of it, he's so cool looking. Um, but his bike form, oh, dear God. Why did they give him wheels, or at least, you know, something that looks like wheels? And then not use that. And then he just runs around on on his feet like a dog or a cat or a dragon, whatever the heck. It's like if they gave him wings and then wouldn't let him fly. But no, he does get wings, actually, that just appear randomly when you use that glide function. I, there are so many things wrong with Scarlet and Violet, I'm not going to lie. As much as I love Pokemon, I did not really enjoy Scarlet and Violet. And that's the first time I've probably ever said that about a Pokemon game. No, that's not true. I hate Gen 4. You all know how much I hate Gen 4. I'm not going to go on that rant again, but oh my god, it's the most tedious thing. But there were so many, so many, like, problems with the mechanics in Scarlet and Violet. I know they wanted it to be open world, like, and I want that too. I do. It worked in Arceus. Hopefully, it'll be the same in uh, AZ. A Z Z A, whatever the new one is going to be, the other Legends one. So hopefully they'll go back to the Legends formula for that because that worked. That was fine. It wasn't 100% open world. You still had to load in between the areas. I was perfectly fine with that. I think most people were perfectly fine with that. Oh, yes. Oh, look. It's the eye. Well, it's one half of the eye. Wouldn't it be wild if we got a Skarmory in here? Hold on, we got one more pack. I want to see if there's a Skarmory in this. I'm going to be, like, really weirded out that the card packs knew about my fusion starter. How? How did they know? Anyway. Ooh, hold on. I'm not going to look at that yet. I saw something sparkly at the back, but I'm not going to pull it up just yet. I want you guys to see it, too. Anyway. Oh, but speaking of Pokemon, uh... I recently started playing Unite. 
which I, when it first came out, I was kind of like, eh, I don't, I don't think that's my thing. I don't really think I'm going to be interested in that. And I didn't do anything with it. Now, like three years later, I don't know why I suddenly was like, you know what? I'll give it a try. Um, and I like it. I do. I, it's not, it's not my favorite type of game. I don't like that style of game all that much. It's, and this is going to sound weird. It, probably doesn't make a lot of sense, but it might make sense to some of you out there who have experienced the same thing. It, it gives me Overwatch vibes, right? It's giving me Overwatch vibes. It's very, like, kind of capture the flaggy type of thing. Maybe, like, what was the other one? Team Fortress 2? Yeah, I, maybe if some of you have played that, maybe it makes you feel a little bit like that. I mean, the, no, the gameplay is not exactly the same. I know that, but it's got that kind of vibe. And I don't personally care for, like, competitive sport-type games. It's not sport, I say loosely. Oh, that's why this one's sparkly. Ooh, look. It's a town card, which I think is interesting. They didn't used to make those, but look how sparkly. I love that. Okay, and then this one's also very sparkly. Absol. Absol's a really cool Pokemon, too. I'm not gonna lie. Absol's in Unite. Um, yeah, so, like, to wrap this little segment up, I've been playing Unite a lot. Um, I main Cerulege, basically. Um, but if I have to play a different, like, position on the team, because Cerulege is the all-around type battler, um, not designated as an attack or a defense or support. Uh, although I play her... Cerulege is a her to me because mine and Scarlet is a is a girl. Um anyway. Um but she's she's good at other things too. And then um but if I have to play something else, I've I really like Zeraora as the speed option. His wild charge attack, that's that's the way to go, y'all. Do that if you can. If you're playing and you have Zerora, if you have him, and you're like trying to, I don't know. If you're still learning this game, if you have access to that Pokemon, you should use him. Especially if it's asking you to. If it's like, oh, you need a speed speedster on this team, do that because he's got a great move set. Um, but that's only based on the like two or three that I've played so far. I don't know. He may be terrible, but to me, he's awesome. Um, and then if I have to go straight attack, though, Cinderace is really cool. Cinderace has kind of grown on me, although Pikachu is not bad. Honestly, Pikachu does all right on his own, which is surprising to me because he looks so it, it's depressing how small he is compared to all the others on the field. Once they've all fully evolved and everything, it looks bad. But no, he, he does all right. He's strong. He's quick. I will say that was the one thing I was kind of disappointed in. Um. And I get it, especially on the defense ones. Not all of them are going to move really quick, but they, they all, even the ones that are designated speedsters, like Zeraora, they move really slow. Like, the movement speed, not even in combat, but just, like, going onto and across the field, anything that you're doing, I feel like they need to be moving a whole lot faster. But, I, I don't know, maybe, heck, maybe this is faster than it was when it started. I don't know, because I didn't play it back then. Anybody who's been playing it for the past three years, let me know if the game has improved or, like, nosedive. Because, to me, it's great. I mean, there's some really good things in it, even though it's not the type of game I would normally play. Um, but there's also still definitely some things that they could tweak. There's some things that need to be worked on. Anywho, since I now know that I can do this... Yeah, all right.